Today, we are going to learn about hardware and software. Now, we are going to study computer hardware. Computer hardware is a physical component of computer that you can touch and feel. For example, monitor, printer, motherboard, CPU, etc. All these components we can touch and feel. Like that, all physical part is called as hardware. Now, we are going to study software. Software is a set of program written in a particular programming language to achieve a specific task. When we switch on a computer, you can see so many icons on the desktop. All these icons represents different software. We have studied that hardware is a physical components, but software is a logical component of a computer. That is software is a set of programs. We are using programming language for making software. Now we are going to see different types of software. These are system software and application software. System software. System software is designed to run hardware and application program, which provides an interface and it controls the operations of hardware and application software. Examples of the system software are operating system, utility programs, etc. Tell me some examples of operating system. Windows, Linux, Apple etc. When we switch on the computer, we are getting a user interface, example desktop. Without this desktop, we cannot interact with the computer. This interface is provided by an operating system and also it controls the entire working of a computer. That is, operating system provides an interface and control the entire working of a computer. Now, we are going to study examples of utility program, driver software, system maintenance software, etc. Now, we can see printer driver software. If a printer is connected to a computer, computer cannot identify the device until the driver software is installed. Driver software is used to identify the hardware connected to a computer and also controls its operations. Next type of utility program is system maintenance software. This type of software is used for proper system maintenance. Examples of system maintenance software are disk backup delete history, data recovery, etc. All this system software is designed to run hardware and application program. It act as a bridge between application software and hardware. Now, we are going to study application software. It is designed for users to perform specific tasks. Different types of application software are developed according to user requirements. For example, MS Office, game, etc. Now, we are going to study different types of application software. First one is general purpose application software and second one is special purpose application software. What is general purpose software? This type of software is developed for general users. For example, MS Office is a general purpose software which is used in office, school, home, etc. That is, we can use this type of software in any place. Other examples, browser, games, MS Paint, Photoshop, Flash, etc. This type of software is developed for general users. We can use this type of software in any place. Now, we are going to study what is special purpose software. This type of software are developed for particular organization, example hospital management system, bank management system, etc. We can't use a particular bank or hospital software in any other bank or hospital. That is, it is designed for special purpose or particular organization. Now we can see what we are learned today. Hardware is a physical component of a computer. System software is required to run hardware and application software. 
The application software cannot directly interact with the hardware, but, it requires an intermediate system software. User can give and take the input and output through application software. That is, user, interacts with the application software, then. Application software, interacts with the system software, then. System software, interacts with the hardware, and vice versa. Watch the video. Read the textbook. Complete the worksheet. In practical.